These are the 10 things every GT Online player should own, starting with fast vehicles. These are going to help you massively in all areas of the game, whether that is completing missions or simply wanting to get around the map faster, you are going to need a reliable vehicle, but there are far too many options to choose from. So I'll be going over my top picks that I recommend to all of you. To begin, we have the Toreador, which includes some of the best features out of most vehicles in the game. The most obvious one is the Rocket Booster, but what sets it apart from most other vehicles is that it only has a two second recharge, which allows you to move very quickly while maintaining your speed, both around the map as well as underwater. It also comes with homing missiles, and while they aren't as effective as others, they do have unlimited ammo. But if you do find yourself under attack, Toreador does take six homing missiles to explode. So overall, an awesome vehicle. And speaking of, one of the most well-known and yet the most hated vehicles is the Oppressor Mark II. And while it does have its flaws, it is a very fast and versatile vehicle, as it can help you out massively during missions and overall free roam, allowing you to move across the map with ease. Pairing that with the homing missiles makes it a beast. I primarily use it for grinding purposes, however, it can be used in many other ways. Unfortunately, it does come at a cost of $8 million, making it the most expensive vehicle in the game, but maybe that is for a good reason. Although the Oppressor is a fast flying bike, you do also want a normal bike option. Which brings me to the Hakachui Drag, one of the fastest land vehicles in the game, reaching a top speed of 130 miles per hour, allowing you to get from point A to B in no time. And that is without the HSW upgrade, because if you're on next gen, you can add HSW performance upgrades to this bike, taking it up to a top speed of 160 miles per hour. Although it does cost $1.4 million, you can make this back in no time by completing the weekly HSW time trials, which can easily be done, making you $250,000 every time, which is another perk of buying this bike. There's nothing more fast than air vehicles, which brings me to number two, helicopters, more specifically the Sparrow, the most convenient aircraft in the game, as it has many benefits. The first being how agile it is, which combined with its speed makes it faster than the Oppressor Mark II. Not only that, but the fact that you can spawn it next to you almost instantly makes it just as reliable, especially when it comes to completing the Kayoperico Heist setups, because it is stored within the Kasaka submarine, which is where you can also equip it with homing missiles. And although they don't have the greatest tracking, they do make the Sparrow much more powerful. Another great aircraft option is the cooler. Expensive, yet insanely convenient. Not only is it a fast and agile helicopter, but it has great handling as well. However, the most notable feature of the Akula is its stealth mode, which allows you to move across the map without being visible to any other players, making it very useful for running businesses, because you can also hide any business supplies that you are carrying while in stealth mode making it harder for any griefers to attack you. The homing and barrage missile options for the Akula also give it an upper hand during any dogfights that you may have. Now that we've gone over some of the fastest vehicles, next at number three, we have armored vehicles. Perhaps the most important things in the game for protection against both players and NPCs. And one of the most infamous ones is the armored Karuma, which offers all round protection from any gunfire you may receive. And overall, it is a very useful vehicle to use during missions. However, it does suffer in terms of explosive resistance as it will instantly be destroyed around any explosives. Another downside is that anyone inside of it cannot use any throwables, which could be an issue. However, a great alternative is the Duke or Death, as not only does it stop bullets, but unlike the Karuma, it does have explosive resistance, taking up to four homing missiles to destroy it. Overall, these two options are great as they are both within the same price range and are very reliable especially when it comes to missions where you're facing many NPCs. But if you're looking for armored vehicles that can defend you from all aspects of the game, then Amani Tech is a must-have. The Amani Tech upgrades include armor plating and missile lock on jammers, which turns a regular vehicle into a beast. You can only access these Amani Tech upgrades if you have the agency with the vehicle workshop. And there are 18 vehicles in total with the Amani Tech features available, three of which I highly recommend. The first being the Omnus EGT, which is the most armoured Amani Tech vehicle available, taking upwards of 12 homing missiles to be destroyed. Another great option is the Buffalo STX, and again, this takes 12 homing missiles before blowing up. The final one I recommend is the Ocelot Virtue, which can be 
given to you for free if you complete all Last Dorse missions as a leader, which is incredible because you get access to one of the fastest and most armored vehicles for completely free. Like I mentioned, one of the Amani Tech features includes the missile lock on jammer, which when equipped prevents homing missiles from locking onto you. Again, a very useful upgrade. However, the armor plating is a must for those wanting maximum protection, especially in public sessions. Another thing that protects you during any type of session is your weapon loadout. Perhaps one of the most important things that any GT Online player needs is a solid weapon loadout that can be useful for any type of situation. But there are far too many weapons in the game, so I'll be going over the overall best ones for each class and their purpose. For shotguns, a great choice is the assault shotgun. This thing has been my go-to for all purposes, whether that's missions or close range combat. The assault shotgun is amazing. As for your main drive-by weapon, I highly recommend the AP pistol. It's compact and can be very effective for those drive-by kills. When it comes to your assault rifle, I highly recommend a special carbine. It has great accuracy, especially when it comes to long-range combat. And if you want a very heavy hitter, the combat MG is amazing. This thing packs a punch, and although it is slow, it deals massive damage. As for heavy weapons, get yourself a homing launcher. Whenever you're in a situation where you need to lock on to a moving target, this thing is great at doing so. And finally, if you have the needs to, pick up the open atomizer. There's been many times where this thing has saved me during cell missions. If your vehicle gets stuck, this thing will help a lot. These weapons are great and all, but what makes them even better is their Mark II variants. Some weapons can be upgraded to a Mark II version, giving them much higher damage. You can do this using any weapon workshop within a vehicle or property. You can also find one of these for free within the Freak Shop. While we're on the topic of weapon loadouts, an honourable mention for this list is the Gun Locker. This is an upgrade available for a few businesses in the game, such as the Office or the Bunker. What the Gun Locker allows you to do is very useful. Instead of having your weapon wheel clogged with use weapons that you no longer use, you can create your very own custom weapon loadout by heading to any gun locker where you can choose to hide any unwanted weapons and only have the ones that you use available in your weapon wheel, which saves you so much time and it's insanely useful, which is exactly what passive income businesses are, which are at number five, more specifically the Acid Lab, which is by far the best business that any player can start in GT Online. It is also one of the easiest businesses to set up. All you have to do is complete the first door's missions to unlock it, which also gives you up to $400,000 with the first time bonuses, which isn't bad at all. And of course, once you've completed 10 Fooligan jobs for DAX, you will be able to purchase the equipment upgrade, and then you can begin making some serious money. Just head to Mutt in your Acid Lab or call him up and buy supplies for $60,000. In order to get a full Acid Lab, it will cost you around $96,000 for the resupply cost, which will normally take four Four hours to produce and when it does it will sell for $239,000. However if you do this in a public lobby with 20 players or more you will earn the high demand bonus making you over $500,000 instead meaning you make a massive $400,000 profit which is amazing but it gets better because when you sell your acid lab no matter how much stock you're selling you will only ever get one sell vehicle which is the delivery bike that you can also customize inside the freak shop. The cell missions are very easy to do. Sometimes you drop off to several locations or sometimes just one. A small tip that most of you probably don't know is that you can change your acid product name in the interaction menu. You will get a 5% bonus on whatever you're selling. Even though it is small, it does make you some more money. It's safe to say that the acid lab is an incredible business. Although it does require some work to begin with, it can make you some very easy money, which is why you should be running it if you aren't already. Another business that you should be running is the nightclub, which is one of the best passive income businesses in the game. There are two ways to make money from it. The first is through your popularity. The more popularity that you have in your nightclub, the more money you will make from the wall safe. If your popularity bar is full, you can earn $50,000 every in-game day, completely passive. So how do you get the popularity bar full? The easiest way is by entering your nightclub and going over to the blue dots on your map, which is where you can kick out any troublemakers that are in your nightclub. This will give you a massive boost in popularity every time and it's a great way to maintain your popularity bar. Another easy way is by simply booking any DJ. Every time you do 
do this, you will get a small increase in popularity. So always keep an eye on your popularity bar to see if it needs filling up. The next way to make money is with the nightclub warehouse. There are a maximum of five technicians that you can hire and the first one will always be free for you, but the rest will cost a lot more money. Each technician can be assigned to different types of product and their job is to collect goods for that product. However, in order to assign the technicians to a particular product, you need to own the required business in the game that is linked to that product. It's important that you only assign technicians to the most profitable types of cargo, which include cargo and shipments, which is the special cargo warehouses, sporting goods, which is the bunker, then South American imports, which is the cork lockup, pharmaceutical research, which is the blue lab, and finally cash creation, which is the counterfeit cash factory. Altogether, these five product types will generate your nightclub warehouse $50,000 per hour, only if you have the equipment upgrade, which I recommend you buy if you want to make more money. Overall, this business can generate some insane passive income. However, you do need to own many other businesses in the game to make it worth it. So only get the nightclub if you have the businesses that I listed above to obviously make the most money. Moving away from passive businesses, let's now jump on to some of the best active businesses in the game, starting with the auto shop. There are two main ways to make money from it. The first being customer deliveries. Occasionally, you may get a vehicle in your auto shop and it's up to you to modify it and deliver it back to the customer, which can earn you $30,000 every time. But the main way to make money is the contracts. You can find these on the board in your auto shop and they are very fun to complete. There are eight different contracts in total and they work just like mini heists as they only require two prep missions and a finale, which can usually be done in less than 40 minutes. And depending on what contract you get, you can earn between $170,000 up to $300,000, with the best one being the Union Depository contract. I highly recommend that you check these out as they are a great activity in the game. However, one thing that sets the auto shop apart from other businesses is the features that it gives you, because if you have the mod shop upgrade, you can modify your own vehicles in inside your auto shop with all of the modifications having a 5% discount. But that is not all because any modifications that would normally be locked due to rank restrictions will all be unlocked for you if you own the auto shop which is a massive bonus that most people do not know about. So not only does this business offer two great ways to make money, but also some very underrated features when it comes to accessing all modifications that you otherwise wouldn't have. But with that being said, let's move on to the agency, which is one of the most resourceful businesses in the game because it gives you the most options out of any property. The first one being the armory, where you can purchase any weapon and body armor for a discounted price, as well as being able to create your custom loadout and like we mentioned earlier the agency is the only property that allows you to upgrade vehicles with Armani Tech with the vehicle workshop upgrade. There's also the many locations for free snacks and most importantly the only place where you can pet shop. But when it comes to money making it gets even better as there are three ways that you can earn money. The main one being the Dr. Dre contract which includes three small scale heists all ending with a finale. This can take you around one to two hours hours to complete and earns you $1 million every time. This is definitely a fun way to earn some money. The next way to make money is the security contracts, which are quick and easy jobs with different difficulty levels, making you between 40 to 70k for about five minutes of work. However, these contracts can generate you passive income through your agency wall safe because for every security contract you complete, you generate $100 of daily income with the limit being $20,000, which does mean you need to complete 200 security contracts to receive the maximum daily income. However, this is all completely passive. Once you do that, you will not have to do them again and you will keep generating money every single day. So although you do have to put in the work initially, the rewards after that are definitely worth it. Which leads me to the final way to make money, the payphone hits, which are small assassination missions that only take five minutes to complete. Each mission has an assassination bonus, which if you complete, can see you earning up to $45,000 for a few minutes of work. And they do have a 10 minute cooldown between each hit. But with that being said, the agency is a must own property, offering some of the best ways to make money and countless other benefits. If you don't already own it, you're missing out.
well. Now we have just listed a lot of businesses and running all of them can be a pain, but not if you own the master control terminal, which is only available inside your arcade. This thing is a lifesaver. You can manage all of your businesses from one location, saving you so much time in the process. Instead of having to travel to each and every business, you can do it all from the master control terminal, which includes the nightclub, the CEO crates, the bunker, the MC businesses. It includes it all. It can all be done from one location. And if you are someone who runs many businesses at once, then you need to own this thing. It can save you so much time when having to resupply your businesses. It is a must buy. Which leads me to the final thing on this list, and that is the Kasaka Submarine, the most infamous property in all of the game, allowing you to start up one of the best money-making opportunities within GTA Online. And that is, of course, the Kayoperico Heist, which is still to this day the best way to make money in such a short period of time. From start to finish, this heist can be done in under one hour and can earn you anywhere from $900,000 up to $1.5 million, depending on your secondary and primary targets. This heist does unfortunately have a two hour cooldown for solo players, but even with that, it is still the best way to earn money in the game, which makes the Kasaka a necessity for all players who want to make easy millions. If you want to know a lot more about the Kayoperico heist and how to set it up in the best way, check out my detailed guide that is on screen now. But with all that being said, that is the 10 things that every player needs to own in GTA Online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.